I have a message to Obama, the Obama minions, and the Karl Rove Republicans. Every dollar you give to Islamist nations is a dollar that pays for Christians, Jews, and Kurds to get their heads chopped off, their throats slit, their children blown to pieces, their homes burned to the ground, millions chased from their homes, crucified, butchered. You, the men and women of the government of the United States, are co-terrorists, using our tax dollars to help fund these atrocities. Stop calling it foreign aid and start calling it treason. Why in the world would American elected officials give money and weapons to Islamic nations knowing full well the murder and mayhem to come? As a 20-year law enforcement veteran, I have to say that I suspect that a lot of Middle Eastern bribe money has been deposited in offshore bank accounts of our government representatives to keep the murder money flowing. If there's another logical explanation, I'd like to hear it. Stop calling it foreign aid. After what my dad went through in World War II, I am ashamed to see my country financing murderers who are even more vicious and evil than the Nazis were. The Islamists will never stop killing. They will never seek peace. They've made their intentions clear. They're going to slaughter their way right up to the White House and raise their unholy flag all over the USA. And Barack Obama, the Democrats, and the D.C. Republicans are providing them with all the money and weapons they need to succeed. Waleed Faraz says ISIS is already in the United States. Why wouldn't they be? Our federal government, both Democrats and Republicans, have intentionally kept our southern border unsecured and undermanned for years. It's time to start calling treason. Here's a wild bill bullet of truth for the USA. The greatest threat to this nation is Washington, D.C. The destruction of the World Trade Center in 2001 was just an appetizer for what the Islamists want to do to this country, and as long as the current crop of political hacks are allowed to call the shots, the Islamists will succeed. The USA is the target of a worldwide holy war. It's time to throw political correctness in the garbage where it belongs. To hell with trying to win the hearts and minds of barbarian nations. It's time to unleash the U.S. military and let them do the job they're trained for. It's time to dust off the B-52s and reintroduce the world to carpet bombing. American citizens must never, ever surrender their right to keep and bear arms. The politicians who are trying to strip away our gun rights are the same politicians who are funding terrorists and leaving our southern door wide open for them to come in. <laughs> Stop calling it foreign aid and start calling it treason. It's about time that we the people began identifying the co-terrorists in our own government. I took an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching, and America, bless God again.